Hi there, my name is Justin. This is Jordana. Uh, we're going to be doing the graded exercise test today. She has been pre-screened with the Park U uh, assessment there, and she is good to go for this assessment. Uh, her alternate information will be in the written portion of the assignment, uh, just because I don't want to disclose anything online uh, on YouTube. And so we're going to get, get her going here on the treadmill. We're going to start at 3 miles per hour uh, with a 1.5% grade. And then we're going to be working up to uh, a speed where she can no longer uh, maintain it, uh, where she's uh, really finding some difficulty with, with maintaining that speed. And then after that, we're going to do a quick cool down uh, and then go over her results. So Jordana, you stretched before this, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. So she did some stretching before, so she's nice and loose. Um, now we're going to start at uh, three miles per hour. That'll give her a nice gradual start. And then we're going to work up for um, about half a mile a minute. Uh, every minute, and then see what she can get up to. As well, at the end of every minute, we're going to be doing a, a rated perceived exertion, and as well as a perceived speech difficulty, uh, and a heart rate reading. And so she's going to be reading out uh, a line for us, and we'll be uh, seeing how difficult it is for her. Have you done much aerobic training before, like on the treadmill or running or anything like that? A little bit, not too much though. I'm probably going to ease off my talking when we get higher up in the, in the uh, speed there, just because I don't want to fatigue her any more than the RDR. Approaching the end of the first minute here, what's your heart rate for that? It is 104. 104, alright. Perfect. And can you just read that line for me? I work out every day and twice on Saturdays. Uh, three times, please. I work out every day and twice on Saturdays. I work out every day and twice on Saturdays. And how difficult was that? Not difficult at all, so one. Okay, and uh, how difficult is your, uh, your rate of procedure version? Um, six or seven? Twice 
on Saturdays. I'm going to go every day and twice on Saturdays. I'm going to go every day and twice on Saturdays. I'm going to five.
12 and 16, 17. We're about two minutes of the active cooldown now. 137. 137. Alright, so it's dropped about another uh, 20, 25 feet per minute here. Uh, and it should keep continuing dropping for a little bit. Uh, do you feel as though this is an appropriate cooldown speed? Approaching the end of the fourth minute of an active cooldown. What's your heart right now? 116. 116. Right, do you feel like you need to recover more on the treadmill or do you want to sit down now? So it's been about another minute here. What is your heart right now? 99. 99. All right, so we can see it continue going down. That's fantastic. We're going to wait about 
two more minutes here just to see how far down it goes. Should it should go back to approximately her resting heart rate. How was that for you? It was hard. Yeah, hard? Yeah. Have you run that fast before regularly or? Not for that long period of time, no. mostly sprints. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not something you really want to do all the time, just because you're pushing your heart to the its upper limits. Mm -hmm. And so it's not something you're going to want to like do regularly, but it's good to kind of get up in that area once in a while just to see uh, if, it's, if it's changed at all. It's been about another minute here, so what's your heart rate now? 95. 95, all right. So it's going down a bit slower than uh, what we'd expect, but she did just do a lot of work there, so... Um, it may take a bit longer for it to go down. And this is also going to depend on how you feel at the end of these three minutes. If you yeah. feel like actively recovered, then, then we'll take that as a good sign. Um, obviously, you're probably going to be walking around later and your heart rate's going to get up back up to, I don't know, 80, 90, maybe 100 or something. So it's not a big deal if it's, if it's still less than 100, but still kind of bouncing out a little bit. All right, so it's been about another minute here. Uh, what's your heart rate now? 91. 91. All right, so it's gone down to about 90, 91. Uh, and that is Fantastic. Um, it was it topped out at one seventy six, so it's about half of her heart rate that she uh, achieved. Um, now one seventy six would be considered her maximum heart rate. Uh, it may be a little bit high, but maybe she just wasn't, wasn't able to push herself uh, that hard today, um, just because uh, her estimated maximum is about two hundred and one. Uh, but there is some variance there. Uh, it's just based on the calculation of two hundred twenty minus her age. She's nineteen years old. Um, and so that it could vary a little bit just depending on the day. However, we're going to use 176 as our maximum heart rate today, and then we're going to come back and discuss some of the uh, results here with the VO2 max and stuff like that. So we're back here with your dad, and I actually just took a couple minutes to do a calculation to determine her um, VO2 max, and that correlates with the health benefit rating. So if you just look here, your VO2 max is actually 46.4 uh, milliliters per kilogram per minute. And that puts you in the very middle of very good for your age range. Cool. Now, when are you turning 20? I'm turning 20 in a couple months. In a couple months. All right. So if it's just a couple months away, you should be in the higher kind of range of very good uh, for the 20 to 29 category. So if you just keep up your aerobic uh, exercises and stuff like that, you should uh, actually level up without even really increasing your capacity. Um, now, some things you could do to increase your capacity are obviously just aerobic training. So, um, having a regimented uh, training program where you, I don't know, run on the treadmill a few days per week uh, would be good. Do you do any of that? I try to do cardio every time I go to the gym. Every time you go to the gym? How often do you go to the gym? Like four to five times a week. Oh, okay. So, you do quite a bit of, of running. Not always running, but sometimes running. Oh, okay. Yeah. What kind of other cardio do you do? Uh, the elliptical, the stair climber. Like that. Okay. Yeah, those are all really good for uh, getting your your lungs working and your uh, and your heart, obviously. But uh, yeah, I guess uh, you're doing a tremendous job so far. Uh, you're in the very good category, and so there's there's only so much you can do to really bump it up that much more. Um, but yeah, very good job today, thank you. and thank you so much for joining me.